Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Shrek. I'm just putting together a quick video here about how to update your WinWing SimApp Pro firmware. This is the WinWing software. You have your devices here. Click on whichever device you want. I'll click on my throttle. You have firmware update. You should see a little recycle symbol or something like that. It means you have updates. So this is where it can get confusing. You have your your throttle handle and your throttle base. You have your serial numbers. The hardware version is the version of the actual physical hardware on your desktop. And then your firmware version, that's the software that's running that hardware. Down here, you've also got the same thing that's up here, your firmware version. Current firmware version, latest. So if, if these two numbers do not match up, like down here, that means you need to update. So I know it can be a little bit confusing, but I'm, and this is my interpretation, I am not SimApp Pro or WinWing, but this is how I've understood it. I know it can be a little confusing. These numbers will never match up because the hardware is different than the, the software. This should be the same as this, and if the numbers are different than here, then you need to update. So it looks like my handle's updated, my throttle base is not, so I'm gonna update my throttle base and it can take a while. Okay, and once it's done, you can see that now these numbers match up. So I'll go back, I'll go to my joystick, update, and it looks like I need an update here as well. So again, you have your hardware version, and you have your firmware version. It should be the same as the current firmware version. I don't know why they don't just list this as current firmware version. Down here, current firmware version, latest. So if these numbers don't match up, time to update so I'm gonna update okay that's how you do it also one thing to note is that um, when you're done with the progress bar fills up and it says 100% complete just wait it'll take you back to the screen I wouldn't hit back just in case it's still still doing stuff behind the scenes um, it can take a couple of seconds before it flips you back to this update screen and if you ever need to go back hit that little carrot in the top left corner again that's right here little carrot in the top left corner, that'll bring you back. Hope that answers any questions that you guys had about updating this firmware for these things. I know it can be a little confusing because there's a lot of numbers everywhere, but um, it's just a little redundancy, and I think they can simplify that a little bit and make it a little bit clearer. Anyway, I'm Shrek. Thanks for watching.